It's so cute how my sons ignore me when I ask them to do something. It's like they're little husbands in training. It sounds like you're trying to get them ready for the idea of divorce while they're still young. In America, that is how half of these things end. And it sounds like that might be where the OP's marriage is going. I'm sorry, fella, but you may be projecting onto your kids. Instead, you should be having the talk about why you and their father are splitting up. Hi again, guys, and welcome back to another inflammatory title. I swear it was just to get you guys to click. I have a lot of straight friends. This is not about the whole group of straight people. It just wouldn't really make sense for it to be. There are just some not okay people out there who also happen to be straight. It's my third time on this topic. I feel like I've earned a decent track record here. If you enjoy this video, there will be this big card at the end that takes you to the last time we did this kind of research. And did you know less than 20% of y'all are subscribed with notifications on? If you sub and hit that bell icon, you'll never miss an upload, and you can always change your mind. A man asked his wife, what would you do if I won the lottery? She replied, I'd take half and leave you. He said, I won $12. Here's six. Stay in touch. And then after a brief silence, they both burst out laughing, and the wife said, oh, Joel, this is why I love you so much. You always make me smile. And then the man lights up thinking to himself, wow, I want to spend the rest of my life with this woman. I sure do love her. They are a happy couple simply having a laugh over some dark subject matter. I refuse to believe anything else. I can't take another broken family in my life. Haven't I suffered enough? How dudes that drive electric cars like to be kissed. Unfortunately, I'm still running on an old gas guzzler, no electric car, but I still do want to be kissed like this. If anybody of any gender, I don't care, who's stronger, older, and taller than me wants to apply for the position, please reach out to my management for details. Fellas, don't be afraid to chase a girl if she has a boyfriend. If she's single, you're competing with 20 other guys. If she's dating someone, you're only competing with one. Work smarter, not harder. You're trying too hard to be smart about it. You're thinking too hard. You gotta go back to switching that brain off, man. You are making more work for yourself than there needs to be. Like, the math doesn't even really check out in the end. For the sake of argument, let's say that if a girl has a boyfriend, then it truly does mean you're only competing with one person. Just a hypothetical. Bear with me here. Yeah, guess what? That one motherfucker was the winner. He scored the gold, but not you. It's like you see him, the reigning champion of his weight class. Then you go to the one free lesson a boxing gym will give you as a trial and then try to fight Canelo Alvarez. How to track your husband's activity without him knowing and it's labeled under the privacy tag. I feel like the answer here is really simple. You really don't need a WikiHow article in it. Just don't get caught, stupid. When a man cheats, a real woman would go on her knees, kiss his feet, and apologize for not being perfect. I'm impressed that someone found this low resolution of an image of someone putting their mouth on someone else's dogs. You can see in the top right of this work of art that it was birthed by at Jonas the Savage. Personally, there are some things I just would never want my name on, even if I technically did deserve credit. Like, if I was the ghostwriter behind a lot of the apology videos on YouTube, I would not want credit for it. And if this alpha male stuff is the type of content I made, I would honestly hope that other people do steal it from me and claim it as their own. It moves the target, gets their eyes off my back. Imagine if someone did actually steal this from you, though, and then you, as the person who posted it originally, got mad that that was the thing stolen from you. It's like, are you sure you want to admit you own that out loud? Oh no, the robbers stole my bad oh. dragon dildo collection. Well, guess they're gone. <laughs> what, you think I'm gonna file a complaint with the police so they can find out I had those? No, these are your birthing years. Why are you playing Animal Crossing? Take that ring out of your nose and find yourself a man to explode inside you deep and have IRL baby crossing. Hope this helped. Reading that made me about as uncomfortable as some of y'all have said my videos make you. But it's that ending that gets me, as it is usually, that hope this helped part. If the term IRL baby crossing in the deep in parentheses didn't convince you this was a shit post. That last line of genuine care for the person reading should have been like the wail of a siren. Just a dead giveaway. There's no way this is a real person. Dressing like a lesbian is the sexy and powerful new fashion trend. Ladies, is it gay to wear pants? If that's what dressing like a lesbian looks like, then I may have to start. Those looks are slick as hell. I just probably can't afford them. I'll get the cheaper version. And wearing pants would be a new thing for me. I'm not even wearing any right now. And it's not because I don't have any legs for once. The husband daycare center. Need time to relax? Need time to yourself? Want to go shopping? Leave your husband with us. We'll look after him for you. You only pay for food, drinks, and tip. We've got Bud Lizer, Bud Light, Mick Ultra. We've got the things for him to suck on. All husbands must be picked up before closing. This definitely came off like your standard cringe boomer I hate my wife meme until they mentioned sucking on things. They didn't just mean alcohol there. They put a baby pacifier in the same row as all the brands of beer. This is not just a daycare for husbands. It's a fetish thing. Even if the people running it don't realize it yet, that is the natural conclusion of every establishment like this. Some weird people sign up for the service and then the service gets weirder to accommodate its new customers. Girls, I know you need pads, tampons, and toothbrushes or whatever, but can you put that in a separate store so us bros don't have to see them? The idea of the women-specific toothbrush is crazy. Can you imagine if whole havers just had an extra set of teeth down there that they need to take care of with a specifically branded coochie toothbrush? It's actually just a normal toothbrush, but it's pink and says vagina on it. I'm glad I don't have to do that because the pair of teeth I already have, I struggle to brush already. I saw my wife, slightly drunk, yelling at the TV. Don't go in there. Don't go in the church, you moron.
moron. She is watching our wedding video again. I know this is from an account called Dad Jokes, but I like to imagine the situation directly from the point of view of the dude who's finding out his wife hates him. He was actually gonna go over there to talk about having a fun night out for their anniversary. And he's been really happy with his decision to settle down because it's with someone he loves. But then he finds out his wife doesn't feel the same, and instead of communicating what was bothering her to him, she instead day drinks and looks back at the good old days. Please wishing well, make me impossible for men to resist. The wish got granted, and she was turned into a car. I personally think the author of this comic just wishes they were one of the people in those videos of dudes fucking their exhaust pipe. It's a whole genre. Being attracted to vehicles is not new, man. Have you seen the amount of genitals they put on Transformers characters? There's a library of Alexandria's worth of pictures of robots with tits on them. Belgian man discovers wife of 19 years was born a man. Man said wife was beautiful and feminine. He didn't suspect anything in two decades of marriage and says he understands now why she wasn't good at ironing. Hey, hear me out, hear me out. This may reinforce a stereotype about women, but if you just cut the clip there, it's very bad. Considering the much worse shit he could have said about a situation like this, is it safe to laugh at? Come on, we agree it's at least a little funny. I can have a little misogyny as a treat, right guys? Is it weird to sing if you're a guy? I've been called gay and I'm just curious to see this community's opinion. And wow, it looks like they had one. Check the amount of replies. And wow, did they have some opinions. Check the amount of replies. What community was he even asking this to anyways? He lit a powder keg in that subreddit. I don't even know how you could see men singing as non-masculine. Just listen to like any Norse themed game's main theme. Uh, Skyrim, either of the new God of Wars. The men singing on those tracks physically make my muscles bigger when I hear them. Children need to be exposed to healthy, heteronormative role models. Like an adult man with a cave in the garage lined with adult content and his wife who collects hilarious text art about how she chugs wine because you were born. Now, if your mom chugged wine before you were born, you're gonna have a set of completely different issues. I get the joke here, but what's wrong with a cave, man? Mine's not in a garage and I don't have titties hanging on the wall, but maybe I like pretending I live in the Stone Age. I'm in my little hovel away from civilization. It's only lit by a waning fire. I'm completely disconnected from technology, despite said man cave being filled with brand new electronics and contemporary memorabilia like anime figures. My fiance is going out of town this weekend. I keep telling people I don't know what to do with myself while he's gone. And they say, do all the things he never lets you do. And I'm like, what do you mean? Are y'all okay? Most of the stuff today and in these videos in general doesn't even feel like a holy straight people thing. It's more of a generational gap. It feels like there are a lot of older folks who married because they felt like they had to and are now unhappy but don't want to break it off because they feel like they aren't allowed to. Or they're just supposed to stick out this toxic relationship because that's the way it is. They've been that way for so long, they've tricked themselves into thinking that's how it has to be. And they are just shocked when young couples who aren't happy with each other just talk to one another or fuck it, just stop being a couple. This is still my favorite made up metric for masculinity I've ever seen on this dumb website. More American males now wear bracelets than eat stew. <laughs> Funniest part about this stat is that while it doesn't say anything about masculinity in America, I'm pretty sure it's technically true. I don't have the actual stat, I just feel like it's real. <laughs> I'm just saying, I can remember the last time I wore a bracelet, never, because jewelry is for girls, but I can't tell you the last time I ate stew outside of Minecraft. The stat itself is accurate, but lord knows why Adam brought it up. When your son thinks he's slick on snap, thinks he's in love with her, but it's actually me on my fake account because you can't play a playa. What the fuck? You shouldn't be near that child. Why have you gone and done this? Tell me, what's the difference between this and just catfishing the normal way? That you're not the mother of the kid you're catfishing? Jesus! The confidence to admit it afterwards is staggering too. It's like walking into a court date with the murder weapon in your hand. On this first date, you've got a real rascal who likes drinking and has dyed hair and smokes. I don't know if that's just the girl's type. But by the twelfth day, he's dressing more casually thanks to her influence. And by their engagement, he's got his tattoo on his neck cleaned up and he stopped dyeing his hair. And finally they're married and they adopted a child too. Wow! What a sweet little story that means nothing other than what I described. <laughs> okay, this one's a roller coaster. Bear with me. When your boyfriend confesses that he cheated on you and slept with his male best friend, so you ask him if he might be attracted to men and he gets mad and says that they didn't do any gay shit like kiss each other. Excuses for why two guys having sex isn't gay is a tale as old as time. Back in ancient Greece, if you fuck someone's thighs instead of their butthole, it was the equivalent of saying no homo. Now it all has to do with whether the lips touched or you were wearing socks while you did it. I don't know if this scenario happened 100% how this woman is putting it, but for getting cheated on, they are taking this very calmly. This is like the farthest thing from a straight people specific mess I think I've seen as well. This is just one giant clusterfuck that crosses over the borders of sexuality, if such a thing even exists. What father hugs a 17 year old son like this? This is how a mother hugs an infant. It's also how I hug my cat, she's very baby. The only other person who's allowed to do that with me now is my wife. She's basically my second mother. She mothers me. You can't help but feel a little sad for the dude when you read this. The guy who typed that up probably needs a hug like that. And me and them are in the same depressing boat on that matter. They say fine common ground, it just hurts every time I do. Even if a woman is paying for a date, she should always get
give the man her money beforehand. That way he can appear to be paying for the date. This is literally basic manners. And the fact that some of you don't know this is sad. Some of you women got your men out here looking weak. If this is what basic manners are, then I never learned any. Where would this even come up in the curriculum? The institution you're learning from does think girls paying for the date's all right, but they specify that you still have to let the man look like he's paying for it. And you, the girlfriend, better not even think about surprising him with a nice meal out that you paid for. He has to know before you go, otherwise you'll be embarrassed that he's not the one paying. If you're not gonna do that, don't buy a meal for him at all. When boys win arguments, breakups happen. I mean, maybe, but have you tried just having a conversation instead? I certainly haven't. I just yell until everybody knows I'm right. But let me know how the conversation stuff goes for you. It sounds like it's for pussies. That's all I got today. That card I mentioned should be on screen. Be sure to drop a like, subscribe, and hit that bell icon. Remember, don't go after anyone I talked about today because that's cringe, and this is all meant in good fun. Anyways, this has been Quite, and while I'm not straight, I'm still not okay either.